Hey friends, what's up? What's good? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hello, if you are new here, my name's Chanel. I'm your resident movie watching BFF. You've clicked on my reaction and commentary channel, the channel where we watch movies together, and I let you know what's going on in my brain the whole time I'm watching them. And we call out filmmaker elements because that's the most fun for me. And 50-50 on the audience, you know, 50-50. <laughs> nah, you guys like it. If you stick around, you like it. And uh, if you're looking for somebody to just quietly gasp and weep, you'll find somebody else. And I'm okay with that. Alrighty. So today's video is going to be The Hateful Eight from 2015. It has been way too long since we've tapped into Tarantino on the channel. I'm ready to just get right into that world again of like hyper violent. I'm under the impression that this is a Western. I don't know though. I mean, some people have been like, no. Samuel L., Kurt Russell, I see Top Build, The Hateful Eight, the eighth film by Quentin Tarantino. So from what I can see, writer, director Quentin Tarantino, I tend to really like his stuff. I think he has a real point of view, you know, and I'm not the first person to say that. Um, he writes characters that genuinely believe what they're saying, and they say it with such conviction that by the end of their, like, spiel, you're like, wait, yeah, like, I agree with you, even if it's the most up thing you've ever heard in your life and that is Quentin Tarantino for me in a nutshell honestly it might be kind of cool for you to comment below and let me know what he is for you like could you summarize Quentin Tarantino in a sentence like that for me that'd be cool um I'm hoping for like Django vibes because I loved Django Unchained I have not caught that on the channel I just caught that in my regular everyday boring life that's what I know about that never seen it gonna be epic I'm sure and we're gonna be looking out for that I like to call it the 10th hour bloodbath it's the last act of any Tarantino film and it's just like constant gore I'm sure I'm gonna be laughing I'm sure I'm gonna think it's very very funny uh let's go to my patreon so we can thank the members who sit on my $15 tier because they have a spot on my $15 tier they get a special shout out in every single one of my videos and if you'd like to be one of them why don't you join them link in the description box below for my patreon information Okay, this month we're going to thank Cody, Kimball, Josh, Jim, Brian, Jay, Sonic, Paintbrush, Janice, Kenneth, Ramey, Simon, Ube Relder, Skeeter, Simplexity, Muggy, DJ, Kento, John, Cody, Christopher, Courtney, Kevin, Reef, Ethan, Tom, Hemi Chanka, David, Bro, Uncle Brian, Sean, Chris Moore, Daniel, Jason, and Moto Dork. Thank you guys so much for your undying love and support. Thanks for supporting me and just that much extra. But um, without further ado, you guys, I would just like to get right into today's video, which is going to be The Hateful Eight from 2015. This feels a little Sin City. Just graphics. Just the graphics. And the sound. Jesus? Samuel L. Jackson. <gasps> yeah. Kurt Russell. I wish it was socially acceptable to cheer in the movie theaters when your guy comes on. That'd be so fun. Channing Tatum's in this? Did you guys know how much how obsessed I was with Channing Tatum when I was I was gonna say a kid, but I was a teen. Inino Morricone. Yes, chapters. Got room for one more? Who the hell are you? And what happened to them? <laughs> you taking them into Red Rock? Figure that's where you hit it, right? Yeah. <sighs> they are dead. He paid a pretty penny for privacy, so if you want to go to Minnie's with us, you're going to have to talk to him. Well? Who's it gonna be? Is it Kurt Russell? Then you approach. Molasses like. Put him down. I remember feeling this way at the beginning of Inglorious Bastards, and that's just we're taking our time. Just Come on ahead. Can you feel every like everyone's taking a breath in between everything? <laughs> I'll be dog. You black fella I know, Colonel something or other Warren, right? Major Mark was Warren. What a African bounty hunter's doing wandering around in the snow in the middle of Wyoming. Bounty hunter. Wyoming. I guess that makes this one fortuitous wagon. I sure as hell hope so. Major Marquis Warren, this here's Daisy Domergoo. One fortuitous wagon. Howdy, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh no. Okay, Tarantino. How much? Ten thousand dollars. Damn. What's she do? Kill Lily Langtree? <laughs> She's like. Back off. Ugh, I did not like that. It's not making me feel good. Hey, hey, you ain't really gonna let that ride in here, is ya? I mean, maybe up there with OB, but- <sighs> Cold damn blizzard that's hot on our ass that we're trying to beat to shelter. I realize that. Shut your mouth and hold them damn horses while I think. It's so funny that I commented about the pacing and that's exactly what the circumstances of the script are. It's like, we gotta go. And the characters are fighting. Nope. Let me think. Let me think about it. And it's so effective, I think. Like, he already built tension into the script with that alone. Make us, the audience, wait while all the characters want to do is go. So you're taking in the Red Rock to hide. Frank, desperate men in the lives a good way to get yourself dead. Yeah. Can't catch me sleeping up, I don't close my eyes. I don't want to work that hard. No one said the job's supposed to be easy. No one said it's supposed to be that hard, neither. I can't stop smiling because this is so Tarantino. The characters have the extreme opposing viewpoints and they're trying to convince each other. I dive in a low well. <laughs> 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 now, Daisy, you want us to work out us. She's going to die. I loved this scene, though, as the violence aside. <laughs> Too. I'm curious about Daisy. I wonder if she actually is a murderer. I, uh, I know we only met each other the once before. These looks, man. The Lincoln letter. Of course. And if you wouldn't mind, I'd sure appreciate seeing that again. Ugh. But, seeing how you saved my life and all, I suppose I can let you read it. It's the best writing in town. He's got something he wants to see. More tension. Like, do you see what a grip this letter has on Kurt Russell's character? Oh, Mary Todd. <clears throat> oh, I'll be so interested to see if he dies with this letter right over his heart pocket or what. Yeah, it gets me too. <clears throat> you know what this is, Tramp. It's a letter from Lincoln. Knew that was coming. That letter has such a grip on him. I didn't drag her stinking ass up this goddamn mountain just for you to break her neck on the outskirts of town. You're the one handed her my goddamn letter. I didn't give it to her, I give it to you. It's like we have already gotten into so many tiffs. I said there's another fella on foot up here on the road. You really think I'm in cahoots with that fella or her? Okay. We pause on Red Rock. Walk over there where I can get a good look at you. I'm sorry, friend. Do we know each other? Not quite. You know this fella? Only by reputation. Only by reputation. You got business in Red Rock? Yes, I do. What? I'm the new sheriff. Poor oh, Afraid not. Where's your star? Well, I ain't the sheriff yet. I, I figure you a bounty hunter open for business. And I, I figure you taking in three dead bodies into Red Rock to get paid? Three dead. One alive. Who's that? Daisy Domergoo. Who the f is Daisy Domergoo? <laughs> it's so funny. You're the hangman Bob Ruth. It's John. Major Marquess. So what's going on? Uh, Y'all having a bounty hunter's picnic? Do you see how long they're taking to get anywhere, you guys? And her and the Red Rock get paid, ain't you? Yeah. Well, the man in Red Rock's supposed to pay you is me, the new sheriff. So if y'all want to get paid, <laughs> y'all need to get me to Red Rock. Put, Put them on and come inside. I'm dead at this, you guys. Everybody has something that they need propelling them forward in this. It's so strong. Ain't nobody on my head, Bushwhacker. You let me die, that's murder. Oh, he moves like a snake. His acting teacher said, we're going to do some animal work. You're a snake. I'll help you protect your 8,000. You help me protect my 10. Well, ain't love grand. 
Y'all lie on the ground make snow angels together? Wow, you guys. Oh, this is just reminding me how much I really need to study Tarantino scripts. I think I'm coming at it from an acting perspective. And actors need to have a strong want. Like, what do I want? Does he know how famous she once was? I don't think so. How is she chewing jerky with that jaw? The place was just made out of kindling. Yeah. So I burnt it down. <laughs> Cause when niggas are scared, that's when white folks are safe. You can, you can ride up top with OB. Like I said, y'all, I'm just happy to be alive. <sighs> I don't trust this character. I is he the sheriff? Maybe. I'm just loving how the the teams inside this car have shifted. You know. They're a team against the sheriff. Sheriff's kind of talking him up. You know, then sheriff's sort of turning. Minnie's haberdashery. Wish I knew what a haberdashery is. Can we get, are we ever going to get to Red Rock in this movie? Maybe not. Hmm. Hmm. Where's Minnie and Sweet Dave? He says they ain't here. He's looking after the place while they're gone. Who are you? I'm up. Another unlikable motherfucker. I just put those other horses away. You need to dump fast. You need to help. You heard him, freeloaders. Get to work. <laughs> you heard him, freeloaders. Shut that door. You have to nail it shut. You have to nail it shut. Hold it shut. Give me a hammer. Yeah. Look at this quirky, quirky place. Are we going to go through this whole rigmarole again when the other guys come in? Where they have to kick it open and hammer it again? I could see that being another comedic bit. Right, that's awful. <laughs> Christ almighty. <gasps> Where's the well water? Could you imagine being that free to say what you really feel? That you just do that? That'd be so cool. Do you have a warrant? Of course I do. May I see it? Ah, you're supposed to produce it upon request. More skeptics. Obsessed. It Buster. It isn't Buster. It's Oswaldo Mowbray. <laughs> That's good. We're writing down Oswaldo. It says here, dead or alive. Yeah. It sounds like hard work. Wouldn't transporting her be easier if she were dead? This is the exact conflict we had in the stagecoach. Let's just say I don't like cheating a hangman. He got to make a living, too. I'm Oswaldo Mowbray, the hangman in these parts. <laughs> we're collecting everybody. <laughs> I'm dead, you guys. I feel like I should have seen this coming, but we're just going to keep collecting everybody that we need, aren't we? How does Tarantino do it, guys? How does he do it? Do you think the story comes first? Do you think the characters come first? What, like, what comes first? I'm so in shock and awe. And the loved ones of the person you murdered were outside that door, hung you up by the neck, that would be frontier justice. That's justice. We love justice. For justice delivered without dispassion is always in danger. Is vengeance. Of not being justice. Okay. Amen. You convinced me, hangman. Who are we about to meet? What you writing, friend? My life story. You're writing your life story. You bet I am. Am I in it? <sighs> Hello, old timer. General. 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 We leave the general alone. You're gonna kick, it, kick open. it open! What? Kick My it open! Kick, kick it open! Kick it open! I knew we were gonna hit that again. Here. 
<laughs> the bit. Commit. We're going to probably do it a third time with the other two guys that need to come in. Uh, yeah. Really wow. it <laughs> is there eight of them? I haven't counted. For the first time this entire watch along, I'm going to say I hate being cold, you guys. Ah, Navajo. <laughs> Guess who he is? This guy is such a clown. Well, well, well. Looks like Minnie's haberdashery is about to get cozy for the next few days. Yes, it does. Days? These guys are not going to make it days. They're going to kill each other. Who the trap with the Lincoln letter? The Lincoln what? <gasps> and I'm sorry, I heard that somebody in your party had a letter from Abraham Lincoln. I assumed it was you. Not him. The n in the stable has a letter from Abraham Lincoln. The repetition, you guys, so funny. Minnie and Sweet Day went to visit her mother on the north side of the mountain. Never knew Minnie had a mother. Are you calling me a liar? Well, not yet, eh? Well, that sounds a whole lot like you're calling me a liar, mi negro amigo. <laughs> <laughs> Minnie doesn't smoke a pipe. She rolls her own. Hmm. Amigo, I think you already know this. Yeah, I do, senor Bob. Just seeing if you do. Testing each other? Like, are we talking about the same mini? Well, cut my legs off and call me shorty. Is that General Sanford Smithers I see? Well, cut my legs off and call me shorty. So what brings you out Wyoming way, sir? If you don't mind my asking. My boy. Now I'm here to advise the stonemaker on his headstone. Was he gonna for sure? Cross with a wooden Jesus? I nearly shot! Oh, the idiot broke the damn door. Keep holding, keep holding, my new amigo. So much, like, distrust in this room. Do you guys feel it? It's like, oh, if I trust you. You're calling me a liar? Huh? Considering Minnie's no hats and doors policy, which, if I remember correctly, was one of them bar iron rules, kind of rules she won't kept up in her absence. Okay. Minnie's dead. Is that a jelly bean? Northern Virginia would have been used in a very different way. I said the army of North Virginia would have been used in a very different way. Oh, what is he realizing? General Sanford Smithers informed this old cracker that I was in Baton Rouge also on the other side. Oh. Yeah, Warren, that's the problem with old men. You can kick him down the stairs and say it's an accident, but you can't just shoot him. <laughs> Still got that deal we talked about in the wagon? Yeah, I suppose. One of them fellas is not what he says he is. This here is Daisy Domergue. She's wanted dead or alive for murder. $10,000. That money's mine, boys. She's like is there anybody here committed to stopping me from doing that? I think they're going to out themselves now. When you say precautions, why do I feel you mean me? That's right, Joe Gage. Now give me the gun. Using everybody's full Christian name? It's a real pressure cooker in here. You need a, you need a teammate fast or you don't stand a chance. I'm afraid the same applies to you too, Mr... Mowbray, dump it down that Well, that's not good. It's a long one, you guys. I feel like we still have like two hours left of this movie. Lift your ass even one inch off that seat and I'll put a bullet right in your goddamn throat. Come here. But, but let me get that. Well, until they invent a trigger a woman can't pull, if you're a hangman, you're going to hang women. Well, hell, I, say, I guess I ain't never looked at it like <laughs> They're, like, so stupid, but so logical sometimes. You goddamn son of a bitch! I ain't ever going out next Ever! Ever again! 
me shoveling the driveway in New York, my mom making me a hot chocolate. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> How you doing, Black Major? I ain't in the mood, Chris Manning. Leave me be from your heart. I would start saying stuff like this. Just stop talking to me. So, you got a letter from Abraham Lincoln. More tense than Thanksgiving at your parents' house. Abraham Lincoln, the president of the United States. Pen pals. John tells you, y'all was practically pen pals. <laughs> <laughs> the repetitions, I can't. You really think a was practically friends with the president of the United States of America. <laughs> was all that horrible? <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> no. <gasps> John's gonna flip because that really meant a lot to him. Dogman! <sighs> He's like heartbroken. Got me on that stage, coach, didn't he? Saves your life. Stand down, you son of a bitch. I shared a battlefield with this man. May I join you? Yes, you may. <laughs> this is a long chapter, you guys. The minis chapter. I'm waiting for a bit of a time dash, you know? Like, I'm waiting for a sleep and awake moment. We haven't had a time dash yet. This whole movie has played very much in real time. He spoke highly of his mama, too. You knew my boy. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I knew him. Another layer to this whole thing, friends. I know the day he died. <gasps> Do you? The day he met me. <gasps> if you just let me go home to my family, I swear I'll never set foot in Wyoming again. <sighs> I pulled my big black pecker out of my pants. And I made him crawl through the snow on all foes over to it. I don't think this is true. I think he's just trying to get him. And I stuck my big black Johnson right down his gut. No. No. <laughs> oh, you bet your sweet. Uh, I don't like this. I hope it's not real. Sucked on that warm black dingus. <laughs> the horror <laughs> look at this man <laughs> just ruin the vision of his son for life ah. I'm not surprised by this I'm like okay I don't feel shocked one down close the concert next chapter don't make you just gotta see to find out another secret god damn about 15 minutes has passed since we last left our characters i've been waiting for a time dash domergu hasn't moved from her spot at the community dinner table since john ruth uncuffed her let's hear her secret let's go tell the secret but about 40 seconds before that while major warren was captivating the crowd with tales of black dicks and white mouths <laughs> somebody <laughs> Poison the coffee. And the only one to see him do it was Domergo. Okay. I'm down. She's doing this for real. I just I'd have to learn how to finger pick a little and play and sing for this movie. Yes, I'm assuming I'm Daisy. <laughs> Got another verse to it? Yeah, lots. Well, go ahead. Okay, that's a wrap on Johnny. Music time's over. What? Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Turn around. Oh, I guess it's not a very fast acting poison. It's a who done it now. My God. <gasps> oh, my God. <sighs> that was so surprising. <sighs> Guys, <gasps> I'm 
freaking out. Oh, I didn't like that. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. This is a no. I'm looking like after the fact. <sighs> Don't test me, bitch. Everybody, get your backsides up against that back wall over here. Not okay. I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna pass out because I'm like hyperventilating. Not because of the blood. Let me hear you say, I got it. I got it. I got <laughs> it. Go to it. We have it. <laughs> These clowns. It's like so funny and so horrifying. Take this gun out of my holster. Why him? I don't trust him. You finally decided I'm telling the truth about being the sheriff of Red Rock, huh? But I know you ain't the killer poison that coffee because you almost drunk at your own damn self. Yeah, there you go. You're gonna die on this mountain and I'm gonna f***ing laugh when you do! <laughs> what I say about talking? We're approaching 10th hour bloodbath territory, guys. Last hour, right? Two of y'all was working with me. Uh, all y'all is, but only one of you poisoned the coffee. It's no coincidence they're all here, right, guys? That's what I'm gathering. And I know who I got my money on. Oh, that's right, Joe Gage. I'm looking at you. That's right, Joe Gage. Uh, how long you say Minnie been gone? A week? Yeah. Don't trust him. Now, I ain't had Minnie stew in six. Ugh, but he knows what Minnie stew tastes like. That damn show is... Minnie's stew. Oh, it is. And if he went to the north side, I'm pretty goddamn sure this chair be going with him. <gasps> that means Minnie and her man ain't at her mama's. They laying out back there dead someplace. Or we go by my theory, which is the ugliest guy did it. <sighs> I was playing piano. I knew we were hitting that so hard. Working with the man who poisoned the coffee. And both of y'all murdered Minnie, Sweet Dave, and whoever else picked this bad luck day to visit Minnie's haberdashery. That's far as I got. How am I doing? <laughs> Two people are in cahoots. If you'd have been here two and a half years ago, you'd know about that sign used to hang up over the bar. You wanna know what that sign says, senor bar? Hats off, inside? No dogs or Mexicans allowed. <gasps> <gasps> oh, sh You know why she took it down? She started letting in dogs. Fighting words. Now, I am calling you a liar, senor Bob. Whole hour later. You lying. What you are. Then you killed me. Who are you? <gasps> oh. Okay, all right. All right, I did it. It was me. I poisoned the coffee. I f <laughs> you knew it. <laughs> He's worth 10 of you. Ward, can I kill him? Say adios to your way. <gasps> adios. Someone else who speaks Spanish down there. Blood bath, blood bath. Okay, quick connection. When the jelly bean was on the floor and he looked to the floor, that was because he was looking for the sign. And the sign was like the four passengers. The sign was making a memory for him. Oh, little rewind, little rewind action. Who is under the floorboards? I was thinking that was the gravestone of the general's son. His name Chester, but I'm not sure. It's just our little reference point from the morning. Huh, Daisy's got people looking out for her in this movie. Who would have thought? Not me. 
Three. Four. More interesting to linger on the feet, you guys, than it is to reveal it right away. Keep the mystery alive. With a sweet Dave. Hi, Dave. Hey, Judy. <laughs> hey, Dave. Joe Gage. Bob. And I'm Jody. Okay, so they all rode in together. Would you rope me a cigarette? Sure, honey. I smoke red apple tobacco. That all right? She rolls her own. You speak French. Oui. Yes. It means yes. Hi, hi, Dave. Ask me if my ass is fat. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, ask me. Sweet Dave, come on. Is your ass fat? Oui, oui. Oui. <laughs> Look at that child like his French. <laughs> I'm dead. Uh, are you the uh, jelly bean salesman around here? <gasps> okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it wasn't really just about the sign. He really was clocking the jelly beans. This movie's so freaking smart. I'm having so much fun. You know I like to feel smart, but I will say I'm not putting anything together before I'm supposed to. Like, your girl's not getting it. Why do they call you Six Horse Judy anyway? Because I'm the only Judy you've ever seen that can drive a Six Horse team. Good nickname. Six Horse Judy. Okay, he ends up under the floorboards. I'm pretty sure that was him, right? Say goodbye to your nuts. That him? Old Channing? I'm scared. Should she drop him? <laughs> Sweet Dave. Ah, oh, so this is how it went down. Yeah, they let him live. What the hell? Well, I must admit, it does make the setup more convincing. Oh, sh He's not Mr. Proper. He's little Mr. Cockney, and he is definitely not the hangman. It's just easier to look at you guys. I had nothing to do with it. Music out. He's gonna come in here. And he's gonna have my sister with him. <gasps> I was gonna say, is that Daisy's husband? No. Brother. Do you have any reason why you would want to interfere with me saving my sister from a hangman's rope? No. I just met these people. I don't give a damn about them. That is a good answer. I was saying, that's the right answer, buddy. During the next four hours, Jody and the boys chuck the bodies down the well. Love a little narration for me. So the name of the game here is Patience. Trapped here for two or three days. At some point, he will close his eyes, and that's when you blow the top of his head off. The name of this movie is Patience. It's like, take your time, you know? Every frame of this movie is patient. Until it's, until someone's thrown up blood at the camera. <laughs> and then it's surprising and fast. <laughs> who broke the door? They're like, act natural, everybody. <laughs> Get yourself some peanuts. Get to work. I love that we get the moment before. Oh, is he still alive? Maybe? He just got shot in the nuts. He's gonna bleed out though. Oh, that's how I'm doing. How you doing? Well, my leg hurts really bad. The two stowaways who weren't supposed to be there are just... I'm just being sarcastic. I don't give a f to me. The two stowaways are like the smarts in this. They're derailing the plan. Fella in the basement, you either give up by the time I count to three, or I shoot Damagoo in the head. I ain't got another pistol. Well, you better shoot another pistol at your ass, because if you don't throw one up here in the next two seconds, we gonna kill this bitch. See? Told you. See? 
bro. Now I see your ugly face. That's how siblings talk to each other, baby. How you like that? Your bushwhacking cow. <sighs> There's brains on her. I don't want to blow the mic out by screaming, you guys. Holy fuck. Why am I never expecting it? It's so quiet. I'm working with all three of them fellows. But because we're all gang members, the Jody Domingue gang. Well, who the hell is Jody Domingue? I've heard of him. I'm kind of curious about her sales pitch. Humor me. Oh. Humor me. I'm fully expecting Warren to come away from this the winner and the only man standing. I don't know with Tarantino, though. Oh, my God. Then we sit here all night slack for the next two days. When snow melts, we go to Mexico, you go on the Red Rock, get that star pinned on your chest. We could give him Mark, huh? Marco ain't worth a peso. <laughs> you still gotta get all our corpses in the Red Rock. And with that deep snow after a blizzard, you ain't gonna be able to get away with any more than, say, one body per horse. So convincing. Dead! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Well, good, because you about to meet it. Anybody else want to make a deal? You ain't done nothing we can't forgive. Sit out of snow with Daisy and Grace. <laughs> Bloodbath, bloodbath, bloodbath. This is the, the bar in Inglorious Bastards. No. 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 No, 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 no. I wanted I had him as the winner. Oh shit. What does he do? So you were saying. <gasps> The brains in her hair, I really cannot. Like, I can't even look. It's so much for me. In order for me to be scared of your threats, I got to believe in those 15 extra gang members waiting it out in Red Rock. I wouldn't put it past Tarantino to march 15 guys in here in the last 10 minutes and just have a freaking battle. I don't feel so good. Chris, we really needed your pistol, bro. You still alive, white boy? Come on, come on. I miss Kurt Russell, honestly. Chris Maddox, your ass ain't nailed to the floor. Wake the fuck up. <laughs> Guys, this is horrifying. <laughs> Who did it? I ain't dead oh. yet, you black bastard. About time you woke up, Chris. No, 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 don't shoot her. Why the hell not? John Ruth. But the last thing that bastard did before he died. He wanted her alive. But there is one thing left we do have a say in. And that's how we kill this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to get her to Red Rock to hang? Is that still going to happen? Oh, they're going to do it here. Okay, never mind. Never mind, Chanel. How dare I think we're going to leave Minnie's place? Ah, as my first and final act, I sent it to you, Domagoo, to hang by the neck. I don't really want to see this. <laughs> Clutch pearls. Guys, I know better than to, than to think this is done. Hey, <laughs> can I see that Lincoln letter? <sighs> the Mary Todd part. Although I wish there were more hours in a day, there's just so much to do. Oh, 
old Mary Todd's calling. They were pen pals. Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> old Mary Todd, that's a nice touch. <laughs> Thanks. What did I just watch? Jesus. Oh my god, you guys. Let's talk about that. Okay, The Hateful Eight from 2015. That was nuts, guys. Hold on, let me give you my full attention. That was nuts, guys. What the f did I just watch? Holy sh balls. Um, not a western. I'm nope, I was wrong. Probably not. Shock beyond belief. Two locations. Stagecoach, Minnie's place. That freaking played out like a play, you know? Um, that was probably the script is my favorite, strongest part. It was very much a whodunit, if you ask me. Um, in the vein of like a clue where it's just like, you can try to get ahead, but I really don't think you're going to get anywhere. You can let me know if you started to put the pieces together before me. I did not. And Tarantino is a master of trickery and he tricks me every time. And it's always surprising and it's always embarrassing. <laughs> Um, I wrote down everything felt like pretty real time until we got that time dash with the voiceover narration, which was pretty cool. Smart, well put together, fun. A one location movie, if you ask me. And I love that we got the moment before, like we got to see the lead in to how everything got set up the way it was when we arrived at the haberdashery. So all in all, a lot of fun for me. All in all, it's that script, as always with Quentin Tarantino for me personally. Um, I'll just always kind of think that his screenwriting is top tier. His characters are terrible people. They're horrible. I hate them. And yet they convince me every time. Jennifer Jason Lee was so scary. So scary. Oh, Quentin Tarantino is the voice. I was about to say, where's his cameo? He's the voice. He's the narrator. I think this movie was expensive as hell, despite it only being a few locations. I'm going to call it a $77 million movie. 44. Oh my God. Well, it was able to be that low. Definitely because of the lack of locations. Alrighty, and let's just go right into some trivia. Ooh, this sucks. After the script leaked online, Tarantino did not want to make this movie. However, after they did a brief reading of the script in Los Angeles, the cast was stunned and got excited for the film. And with Samuel L. persuading him to do the movie, Tarantino accepted. Oh my gosh. Writer and director Tarantino said some of Nino Morricone's com compositions for the film are the unused scores for The Thing from 1982, where Kurt Russell starred. That's crazy and cool. So Morricone had done Kill Bill Volume 2, Death Proof, and Glorious Bastards, and Django Unchained. First time Samuel L. received top billing. 50 theaters. So in 2015, most theaters worldwide had their film projectors replaced with digital. Uh, Quentin Tarantino aggressively fought with distributors for the film to be for it to be shown in its original Ultra Panavision 70 presentation. As a result, 50 theaters internationally were retrofitted with anamorphic lens 70 millimeter analog film projectors to display the film as he intended it to be seen. It was released December 25th, 2015 as a roadshow presentation in 70 millimeter analog. Ugh, crazy. During filming, there was a long streak of nice weather. Wow. They had to recreate those blizzards with, they had to make it fake. At times, the cast and crew worked in a refrigerated set in which the temperature was 30 degrees Fahrenheit. I was going to say, um, every time they've got a cup of coffee, it's steaming, you know? So that set's not warm. There's no shot. That was all real. That didn't look CG or anything. Two references to Django. Wow. This is really epic in terms of cinema history. Only the 11th film to be shot in Ultra Panavision 70 millimeter process. Um, it's a 65 millimeter film with a 1.25 squeeze anamorphic lens for an aspect ratio of 2.761. Film is not used as extremely rare process since Cahardum, Cardum, 1966, nearly 50 years before. Morricone wasn't going to score this after how the music was handled in Django, but he said in an interview he accepted Tarantino's request to score this film because he liked the script and because Tarantino gave him full freedom in the composition. Morricone said he considers the film an adventure movie rather than a western. I agree. And as a result, he tried to make the music sound completely different from his famous western scores. He based the music on the feelings that the script evoked in him rather than composing music for specific scenes. He only had about a month to produce his score. Because of that, he added several pieces of music that had originally been written for the thing. I can't believe the script was script was script. Script was leaked. That means I'll be able to find it. The thing is the influence for this film. It was the only film director Quentin Tarantino showed to the cast. In the leaked script, the Abraham Lincoln letter is only brought up once. Okay, so that's a nice little fun fleshed out bit. I thought that was like a pretty funny bit. I loved that. And Tarantino is such a master of comedy because every time they 
you know, brought back that the door needs to be nailed shut, stuff like that. Like those callbacky things are pretty funny. Cool. The only thing I want to look up now, you guys, is the Oscars, which I think it would have been nominated maybe for writing or score. I don't know. And won one Oscar. Oh, okay. So it was nominated for score actress and cinematography and it won for score. And Nino Morico, nah. Okay. So you have now seen my reaction to the hateful eight from 2015 so now i want to hear from you comment below where were you what were you doing did you see this in 70 millimeter on the big screen in cinemas you're gonna have to let me know if you want to see my full-length reaction to this unedited uncut unrated head to the description box below where you find my patreon information other ways to support me down below but um if you wouldn't mind please just give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already and on that note, I'm going to go eat.